Hi everybody, just want to make a quick video on my new Midway USA uh, Air 15 range bag, not uh, the competition range bag. Uh, part of the reason why I wanted to make this video is because there are no YouTube videos whatsoever, at least that I could find, on the Midway USA AR-15 range bag. Uh, but there is several on the competition range bag. Uh, so I think this is just a little bit newer. So in our, And the pictures on Midway's website are terrible, so I wanted to uh, hopefully help people out to make a more informed decision on their purchase and just uh, give people a little bit more in-depth look on uh, what the bag is like. So, uh, I'll go through quickly here. Um, the Air 15 range bag, uh, like the competition, it's got these two big side pockets here. And uh, it's padded everywhere on the bag, uh, whether it's this you know, flap right here, this is padded, uh, both sides here, and here, padded, padded, uh, everywhere. Uh, it, it is padded, uh, so that's good. So a major difference between uh, the AR-15 range bag and the competition is that in the side pockets, it's got this little divider here. So uh, you can put mags in here like this if you wanted to, and, and uh, the divider is removable. I'm kind of just using it to store various things like my pistol mag loader, uh, AR or AR, AK front sight tool, uh, brass catcher. So it looks just like this, and you can just put your magazine in, in here. But if you want to, you can just remove it, uh, which is what I have done over here. And in here, I just got uh, some sticky targets. By the way, if anybody's wondering, these Cadwell orange peel targets, uh, if you can get the factory seconds ones at Midway uh, for cheap, uh, they're a really good deal because uh, they're really not, I'm not quite sure why they say they're factory seconds because they look in pretty uh, mint condition to me. But, uh, you know, you can put a staple gun, some targets, some tape, what have you, uh, in this side. There's no... Uh, I've taken the divider out, um, get a flashlight in here, there's no kind of like extra, you know, interior pocket or anything, it's just that Velcro, um, there's no like extra pockets or anything, but it is, it is padded. And then we'll move on to over here, uh, we got a little Velcro right here, your ID thing, uh, window. Uh, padded right here, uh, but don't have anything in here at the moment. But there is no, you know, extra pouch or pocket on the interior of it or anything. Uh, so there's that on the on the end of it here. On the other end, you got uh, your little. It's like a water bottle or something kind of holder. Uh, or you could kind of throw in anything, of course. And then a smaller side pocket, also padded. I just have some backup ear protection and eye protection. And it also has, on the interior of this bag, uh, nothing, nothing, you know, super special about this one. But it does have sort of this uh, clip on the inside that's attached. So if there's anything you don't want to lose, uh, you clip that in. Uh, so there's that. And then the more major difference between the AR-15 range bag and the competition bag is that the AR-15 range bag has some molly webbing over on this side. And then the most major of differences is instead of the pistol mag pouches, you have AR mag pouches. You can fit two of them in here. I got some, I got this uh, Lancer mag filled with some blackout, uh, regular old P mag. 
Uh, so you can fit two mags a piece in here, and there's four. So four times two, eight on this side, and then on the other side you could hypothetically hold five in each, so ten and eight. Uh, so it's quite a few mags, but I don't really need that many. So this is the eight mags this can hold is sufficient for me. Um, right here I just got, uh, you can put some tools in here, uh, whatever. Um, this is the divider. If I can get it out here. Velcro works pretty good, uh, but this is the divider that goes over here in this pocket. Uh, there's that. And then, uh, you know, but you could put tools, you could put whatever. One thing that I was slightly disappointed in is in the competition version of this bag. Uh, there's kind of like an extra pocket right here. And you can kind of just, you know, sneak some extra stuff behind here. And in this, I mean, you really can't do that. There's no extra pocket. So if you had maybe other targets or something, there's no added pocket in between this side of the bag and the mag pouches so you can't put anything here uh, so it does have less pot like interior pockets than the competition midway bag and then uh, to the main compartment here uh, I will say the zippers are very good you know kind of the bigger oversized zippers and they work pretty pretty well uh, the material you know it's just like a nylon or whatever uh, could be a little bit you know more more durable but it I mean it's it's still really good uh, really good for you know China uh, I'll just say um, but uh, you know the zippers are nice so you don't have to worry about your zippers uh, going to hell on you which that's usually the first thing to go um, and but as far as the the nylon it's made out of it's it's good and you know it's it's like it's double stitched and you know so for the price don't pay over fifty dollars for either the competition or the AR midway range bags never pay over fifty only buy them when they're on sale um, but I, I think it's definitely worth it it's worth the worth the cost um, on the inside it does have the interior pockets. I uh, got some rags. Uh, it's got the interior pockets right here. So if you have a pistol, I mean, this could easily fit a full-size pistol in here. Uh, and then there's one on each side. Get some more light on it here. Uh, so you got this pocket right here, and it is padded right here. And on this side, so if you do put a pistol, you know, something more that you don't want to get scratched up. Uh, it's got that, I mean, and it's pretty big. I mean, you could probably fit a Desert Eagle in there. Um, and then, as far as the storage, uh, uh, this is just some 45 Winchester white box. And you'll be able to put a decent amount. And then, of course, you know, it'll get bigger the more stuff you kind of put in it. Uh, it'll expand a little bit. Uh, but it's definitely got a pretty decent sized compartment. Uh, and yeah. So uh, I think it might be just a little bit smaller than the competition range bag. Uh, and it doesn't have kind of this extra pocket. Um, and it doesn't come with any of like the extras that the competition one does, like this, the. Uh, empty brass bag or like the pit pistol pouches or whatever uh, I think the competition range bag is geared a little bit more for a competitive pistol uh, in particular but anyways it's a pretty good bag I think it's worth the money uh, it's better to just have uh, you know one good range bag other than the two chintzy ones that I was that I was using so anyways Hope I could be helpful uh, to anyone who wanted to see the particulars of this range bag because there's no YouTube videos on it and the pictures on Midway are very terrible and nondescript as far as what you're really getting. So hopefully uh, this overview helps you make a more informed decision on uh, 
on your purchase. So anyways, hope I could be helpful. Take it easy.